All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the system of equations m plus n is equal to five and m times n is also equal to five. So obviously these two are two equations and I'm gonna label my first equation equation one and my second equation equation two, just to make the solving easier. So, my first equation is m plus n equals 5. And what I'm going to do is actually rewrite this so I get the value of just one of these variables. So I'll, I, can do, I can choose any one. For the sake of this video, I'm going to choose m. So to get the value of m, I have to get rid of n by subtracting n on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get M is equal to five minus N. So now the reason I did this is because I can substitute this value of M back into my original equation. So if I substitute this back in, I get five minus N times N is equal to five. Now, I can distribute the n. So 5 times n is going to be 5n, and negative n times n is going to be negative n squared. So I have this is equal to 5. And now I can add n squared on both sides and subtract 5n on both sides. And I get n squared minus 5n plus 5 is equal to zero. Now from here, to solve this, I can use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 5, and c is positive 5. So I get n is equal to negative of negative 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 5. And I have this all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And now this is equal to positive 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 4 times 5, which is 20, all over 2 which is equal to five plus or minus the square root of five over two. And this can't be simplified anymore. So n is equal to five plus or minus the square root of five over two, which can be divided into two equations, or sorry, two solutions. n is equal to five plus the square root of five over two and n is equal to 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, recall how m plus n is equal to 5. This was equation 1. So now what I can say is that m of 1 plus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2 is equal to 5. Because remember, in a system of, in this particular system of equation, I can have two solutions. So m of 1, there can, there's also an m of 2 because n has two solutions, meaning there's going to be two different solutions for the actual system of equations. So we can say that this is n of 1 and this is n of 2. So for n of 1, respectfully, I get m of 1. So now, to solve this equation, what I'm going to do is subtract 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get m of 1 is equal to 
5 minus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And I actually have to distribute the negative sign. So I get m of 1 is equal to 5 minus 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And this is the same thing as 10 minus 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2 because 10 over 2 is equal to 5. So now from here, 10 minus 5 is just 5. So I get 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And I can say that this is my value for m of 1. And remember how n of 1 is equal to 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So my solution, my first solution for this system of equations is 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2, comma, 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So this is my first solution to the system equations. Now for equation number 2, or sorry, solution number 2, I'm going to use n of 2. So n of 2 is equal to 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And to solve this, I'm going to plug this back into my equation, m plus n is equal to 5. So I can say m2 plus n of 2 is equal to 5, and n of 2 is equal to 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So I have m of 2 plus 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2 is equal to 5. Now to solve this, what I'm going to do is subtract 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I get m of 2 is equal to 5 minus 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And remember, this is in parentheses. So this is equal to 5 minus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And again, 5 is the same thing as 10 over 2. So I get 10 over 2 minus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And subtracting two fractions with the same denominator is equal to but is equal to the numerator subtracting to each other over that denominator. So I get 10 minus 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And 10 minus 5 is 5. So I get m of 2 is equal to 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Meaning m of 2 comma n of 2 this is equal to 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2, comma, 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So this is my second equation to the system of equations. And let me just write my first solution, m1 comma m2 is equal to 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2 comma 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And notice how these two are just the opposites of each other. m1 comma m2 is 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2, comma 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2, and m2 comma n2 is 5 plus the square root of 5 over 2, comma 5 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So these just switched order. And it still works out. So these two are my two solutions. Alright, so in this video, 
I'm going to be solving the problem 2 to the power of 24 minus 1. So, for my solution, what I'm first going to do is rewrite this as 2 to the power of 12 times 2 minus 1. So all I did was I rewrote 24 as 12 times 2. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 12 times 2, I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. And now 1, I'm going to rewrite that as 1 squared. So now I have 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2 minus 1 squared. And now I can use the property that states that if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is 2 to the power of 12 and b is 1. So I get 2 to the power of 12 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 12 minus 1. Now from here, we need to find the value of 2 to the power of 12. Well, 2 to the power of 10 is equal to 1024. So this means that 2 to the power of 11 is equal to double of 1024, which is 2048. And 2 to the power of 12 is equal to double of 2048, which is 4096. So now I have 4096 plus 1 times 4096 minus 1. 4096 plus 1 is 4097, and 4096 minus 1 is 4095. Now, how would I solve this? Well, what most people would do is try to solve this by using the basic multiplication method, but this takes way too long. So, a better way to solve this is actually to rewrite this as 4,000 plus 97 times 4,000 plus 95. Now, because 4,000 has so many zeros in it, it's much easier to solve this problem. So I'm going to be solving this problem by distributing. Or what I can also do, which is an easier method, is to rewrite 4,097 as 4,100 minus 3 times 4100 minus 5. And this is also another way to rewrite this, this time subtraction instead of addition. But now notice how we have 3 times 5, which is much easier to solve than 97 times 95. So now I'm going to distribute my 4100. So I get 4100 squared minus 5 times 4100. And then now I have minus 3 times 4,100 minus 3 times negative 5. So now 4,100 squared is equal to 41 squared plus 4 zeros. 41 squared is 1,681, so I'm just going to add four zeros to the end there. And then minus five times 4,100, I can just say this is five times 41, which is 205, and then add two zeros. Minus three times 4,100, which is one, 123, and I can add two zeros. Minus three times negative five, which is positive 15. So now from here, I get 16,810,000 minus 20,500 minus 12,300, which is equal to negative 32,800 plus 15. Now, a negative number plus a positive number is the same thing as 30, 32,800 minus 15, which is 
32,785. So now I have 16,810,000 minus 32,785. And this is equal to, I'm actually going to write this like this. So 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 2 is 7, 10 minus 3 is 8, 8 minus 1 is 7, and then I have 6 and 1. So 16,787,125 is my final answer to this problem.